pretty please. Hi guys. In today's video, I'm going to be making another Season 3 Shopkins. And this is going to be Snippy. And it was requested by Akin Richard Abbey on uh, YouTube. So thank you very much for that. So for this one, what I'm going to be using is some pink clay. So you need a ball about that size. And I need two little pieces for the hands and two pieces here for the feet. And then I'm going to be using some of this granite clay because I'm going to paint it metallic. Because I don't have any silver clay right now, but of course you can either paint it metallic or just either use gray or mix black and white together. So I'm going to set this aside. I've just kind of flattened it out a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and make the basic shape. I'm going to kind of flatten out my clay to about that thickness there. And we're going to make a little shape like this. So it's going to be rounded on the top and flat across the bottom. And I'm going to be using my little wooden tool here to make the indents. Kind of cut it right down the middle. Just like so. And then using my razor tool, I'm going to go in and cut out a little shape. I'll show you here. So something like that. And it might be a little fiddly, but you should be able to just cut it and it should pop right out. So you have a little shape like that. And then you can just kind of go in with your tool and and just um flatten down the edges. I always find one side always seems to come out a bit nicer than the other. Okay, so we'll do that on the other side as well. Hopefully this one comes out a little bit easier. As you can see, it doesn't look all that great right now, but just push that out. You guys might have an easier way of doing this, but just go in and fix that up. Just gonna kind of push it down. So there, we have sort of a basic scissor shape so far. It almost kind of looks like a pig's nose. <laughs> but I'm going to leave the bottom a little bit... Um, bigger so then we can paint the little face on there. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside, just make sure it kind of stands up there. And I'm going to push our feet together. But this time I'm actually going to make them a little bit longer. So something like that. So then we have a nice flat base to put that on there. And on the top, I'm just going to make a little indent because that's where the blades are going to go. So set that there. So all I'm going to do is just kind of flatten out, but not too thin. You want it thick enough so it'll stand up. And I'm just going to cut this right in half. So as you can see, the one side is rounded and the other side is flat. And then you can take the other piece that you've already, or the piece that you've cut in half, and I'm just gonna flatten this out a little bit. And the same with this one, just flatten it just a little bit more. So then I'm gonna place the one right in behind. Okay, just like so. So again, you just take little piece here, cut it in half, so then you have one flat end and then one rounded end, and then we'll just place the one right on top of the other. And then you can kind of flatten it out and get it to the way that you want. Okay, so once we have that, I'm just going to trim the bottom here. So we have our little blades of our scissors. 
and then we can just place that right on top. Just pinch that down. We have our little scissors there. And then I'm just going to make a hole on either side here and place our little hands in there. And what you can do, there's like a little circle here on the scissors. So I'm just going to make a little tiny dot with my tool there. And I'm just going to take some of the extra gray and make a little tiny circle and I'm just going to pop that right on top. Okay, so we have the little indent there. So what you may have to do is if you have a little bit of liquid translucent Sculpey or bake a bond, you can um, put that right in there and then that'll make it stick. It kind of acts like a glue and then you can just go ahead and bake it. But I'll just have to kind of push it down a bit. All right, so there's our basic snippy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. I preheat my oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for 30 minutes. I want to make sure it stands up good. There we go. <laughs> Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was um, using some of this um, silver metallic paint. It's just acrylic paint from the dollar store. And I painted over the blades. So you can see it's super shiny. And then this one's kind of cool actually. So there's a little eye on each of the handles and then a little tiny mouth. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. So all I did was just paint that on with black and then using some red, kind of matches my nails. Um, I just painted on each of the, the handles there. So now I don't know with this being a special edition Shopkin season three, whether or not it has like, a, it looks almost like a pearly finish. So if you guys were to make this yourself, um, you can mix some pink in with the pearl clay to give it a nice shimmery color. Otherwise, you can always put some glitter over it. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll probably glaze this part here. And then I might put some glitter over the pink parts here. But, um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you soon. Bye guys!